So on July 17, I was sitting at home watching the World Athletic Championship, the 400 meter finals for women. And while I was enjoying my ice cream, I noticed after the race, Sada Williams placed third, running 49.75 seconds, 49 and some 50 from Barbados. Wow. And I was saying to myself, who is Sada Williams? Of course, I was then watching the Commonwealth Games and I saw her winning the Commonwealth Games in 49.90, showing that her performance was not a fluke as she won the Commonwealth Games in a sub-50 clocking, oh. being the national record holder for Barbados. She went to the Knockout Championship and again ran another sub-50, wow. 49.86, finishing second to Shawnee miller Weebo. So I had to ask myself, who is this Sada Williams? So I did some research now and I'm here to just share with you who is Sada Williams and her journey. So Sada Williams, she started track and field back in 2013 at the age of 15 years old and she would have run 200 meters predominantly and she ran a time of 25.06 seconds. Oh. Now, we're going to skip out this phase of our career. Between 2013 to 2018, Sada Williams, she mainly competed in the 200 and the 400. Now, in particular, in 2014, Sada Williams was the champion at the Carifta Games. Wow! Yes, I mean, the Caribbean islands that compete at Carifta. Sada Williams, she was the Carifta champion at, in 2014, and she went again in 2016 in the under 20 division, and she won the gold in the 400 meter. For under 20 girls not only did she run win the gold medal for the under 20 girls beating the other countries the jamaica and the trinidad but she ran 52.07 seconds as a junior bearing in mind that the national record for barbados is 51.04 seconds wow! so Sarah Williams was well within one second of the national record but still not many persons would have noticed sada williams She's running good time, she's winning gold medals at the Carifta, she's running 52, but still not getting in, still not getting that recognition. Oh. Now, in 2019, Sada Williams decided to come to Jamaica and she was training at MVP Track Club. While being at MVP Track Club, Sada Williams, she ran her first sub-52 that year. She ran her first sub-52 in 2019. Of course, at the start of the season, she was running at the track meets in Jamaica, the Gibson Macook Relay, she was running at Intercal, she was running at All Commerce, she even went back home and ran in a couple 400 meter races. And she was running there about 52, 53 seconds, but it was really when she went to the World Championship in 2019 that Sada Williams broke that 52 seconds barrier well. She ran 51.31, finishing two one hundred of a second outside of Barbados national record. Wow! Finally missing out on the 400 meter finals at the World Championship. Now 51.31, it's still not a time to write home about. And so of course, Sada Williams still not getting the notice that she fully deserved. Now, 2020, still being in Jamaica, it didn't go according to plan. Of course, we know there was COVID-19, but her track season, it didn't take off. She won a couple of races, but for the most part, she was running 53s and 54. So she had a season's best in 2020, 53.40. Oh. Fast forwarding to 2021, she had a slow start to her season. She ran a couple of 52s at some track meets in Jamaica. She went to a couple continental meets and she was running 51.5, 51.7, 51.9. Nothing to write home about. No, oh. at the end of 2021, the Olympic Games, we saw a different Sada Williams. She ran 51.36 less than a tenth of a second outside of her personal best and then in the semi-finals 
at the Tokyo Olympics. Sada Williams ran 50.11 seconds in the semi finals, finishing third. Of course, Stephanie had been first and the Jamaican won it. But Sada Williams running 50.11, she broke Barbados national record. Unfortunately for Sada, she narrowly missed out on the Olympic finals. The field was such quality last year that 50.11 wasn't good enough to get her in the finals. Now, she came back in 2022 looking even better, as we would say, according to CVM TV in Jamaica. So, Sada Williams looking even better in 2022. She opened up her season running 52, which is a very good time for a season opener. She ran a couple of 50 point seconds leading into the World Championship. But then at the World Championship, Sada Williams just kept on improving and improving. In the heat, she ran 51.05. She looked so impressive winning her heat. Ahead of the Jamaican that would have run 49 already, Sharuki Young. And then in the semi finals, she ran 50.12. And then this is when Sada did. Then in the finals, this is when Sada did something that you would never have speculated. She ran a sub 50 seconds, not just marginally breaking 50 seconds, she ran 49.75 seconds. Wow. They can have the first Bayesian to run sub 50. She's now the national record holder for Barbados and she won the bronze medal at the World Championship. Wow. Remember, she's coming from not making the finals in Tokyo and also in the World Championship at Doha. And now she's the bronze medalist at the Oregon World Championship. Now, despite her winning the bronze medal, you know, many might still say, okay, she's doing well, but Sada showed that her run was no fluke when she went to the Commonwealth Games and secured gold and ran another sub-50, running 49.90 seconds. Of course, she then went to Naka and ran 49.86, finishing seconds to Shawnee Miller-Weebo. And of course, she, she ran at the Lausanne Diamond League meeting and she ran 50.1 showing that Sada Williams she's here to stay so my question for all the viewers is how much faster do you think Sada Williams can go what are your expectations for Sada Williams in 2023 the next upcoming track season just leave it in the comment below and remember just to like the video and to subscribe